Linus Tech Tips coverage of Computex 2013 is powered by Western Digital. Our trusted gaming gear partner is Corsair Vengeance, and our trusted retail partner is NCIX.com. So you've got three guesses as to which booth we're in at Computex right now, and the first two don't count because this right here is one gigantic computer mouse. This is the Funk MS3, and it is designed for giants who need mice that are actually made of foam and don't actually work. No, really, this is just a prop, and what they're actually showing off is not the MS3. The MS3 is the product that's in the market now, and they are expanding the gaming product lineup to include some pretty cool new stuff over here. So right here, we've got the KB460. Um, you know, Funk's really uh, sort of really creative about the way that they use numbers to, uh, you know, name their products. KB obviously stands for... Uh, Cone Brilliance, where the uh, the cone is spelled with a K. No, actually, it's keyboard. So MS for mouse, you know, uh, keyboard for games. K. Okay. So this right here is a mechanical gaming keyboard. It features Cherry MX Red switches. It's got a braided cable. It's got a built-in USB hub, so you've got a couple of ports there. It also has some software functionality that goes into it. So you've got five different profiles, which are accessible over here with the F7 to F11 keys. You've got built-in media keys that are accessed with a function command, as well as a, OK, well, you're going to notice a pretty non-standard layout here, but don't worry about that, because the North American model will have sort of full-size shift keys, full-size enter keys. It does have a red backlight, and you can also see it has a red back plate that really makes that light more vibrant and really, really glow. Next thing is the detachable wrist rest. Now, if you're anything like me, you've probably broken at least a few of these at some point in your life. Now, Funk's goal was to make the wrist rest as simple as possible in the way it attaches, meaning that it shouldn't break. So we're going to go ahead and turn this around. The mechanism is actually not here yet, but they assure me it shouldn't break. And if it does break, the idea is they will just ship you a new one. No big deal. They'll take care of it. A couple days later, you will be back to having your wrist rest permanently attached to your keyboard. Next up over here, we have a couple of Funk mouse pads. So these are the F-Series 10L and 10XL. They're basically using a similar surface to what we've got on their existing products, except that they are flexible. They are single-sided, so they have a rubberized grip, so they don't move around too much while you're trying to move them. And obviously, they're optimized for use with the MS3 Gaming mouse. It glides very nicely over top of them. You get that hockey puck effect. There we go. And finally, the HS260. This is not a finished sample, but I'll go through the general specs of it anyway. It's got 50 millimeter drivers. It's got some of the softest, biggest cushions that I think I've ever seen on a headset before. It has, you know, your adjustable sizing. It's got, I'm going to have a problem here because I can only hold this microphone with one hand. Can I get you to hold this microphone for me, sir? Thank you very much. Okay, so here we go. I can put this on my head now and don't have to keep stalling for time. Very plush ear cups. There we go. You've got your size adjustment, just like that. So you could put it on like sort of, you know, like you got like a huge head or something like that. Now I have two microphones. All right. Now where does the functionality come in? Because that's what Funk stands for. Functionality perfected. I'm just going to show you the functionality. So number one, you can remove the mic. All right, that's cool. We've seen this before. Personally, I'm more excited about the fact that the mic is like this. Well, I mean, I don't want to put it here, but I'm more excited about the fact that the mic is pretty much infinitely adjustable because often boom mics end up out here for me, which means you spit into them a lot. And there's a lot of hissing that comes with, with S's, S noises and things like that. So if you can put it right here in the corner of your mouth where it's actually optimal, you're going to get a better experience for the person on the other end. The next thing is the removable cable. And removable cables aren't exactly new, but look at this one. There is absolutely nothing exceptional about that cable. That, that is a standard, standard headphone jack cable. And that's why I like it, because it is completely standard. You do not have to worry about any kind of proprietary nonsense. If your cat chews through your cable, like what happened to my PC350s, or if you lose your cable, like I've probably done with something at some point, but my memory's failing me right now. Now the other thing is you can actually switch these around, so you can switch this over here, you can switch this over here if you feel like it. The microphone itself has a mute button built into the bottom of it, and the headphone left ear cup, or right ear cup, or wherever you want to put it, I guess, has a built-in volume control knob as well. Now this is not a finished sample, like I said, so your finished product may vary, but stay tuned, because the HS2 likes, looks like it's going to be pretty sweet. guys. Don't miss any of our Computex 2013 coverage. We are powered here at the show by Western Digital as well as Corsair Vengeance Gaming Peripherals. Sorry about that, but 
Them's the breaks, as well as NCIX.com. Make sure you're subscribed to Linus Tech Tips so you catch all of it.